Now, the row of engines echoed through Ogun State, Nigeria this weekend as the Borgian Kart Racing Series 2024 ripped across the off road track. This aside, an event served as a testament to the sport's growing popularity, attracting races and enthusiastic uh, spectators from across the country. Details in this report. Boo. Three. Boo. 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 Wow! Fantastic beginning, ladies and gentlemen. And the action has started. Thank you so much. Race 3 of the Metallic Horses x card Series 2024 was a fierce battle. Drivers displayed exceptional skill and strategic thinking as they fought for position on the challenging course. The atmosphere crackled with anticipation as carts whizzed by inches apart in a thrilling display of speed and precision. Fantastic! Fantastic! Amazing. Buki Feishetan, founding partner of the x Racing Series Nigeria, emphasizes that x racing is more than just a race for speed. In quote, he says, x racing demands a multifaceted skill set. He also says, racers must combine strategic planning with exceptional control and nerves of steel to navigate the demanding course and emerge victorious. The accessible nature of the sport, with categories catering to both experienced racers and newcomers, further fuels its appeal. We are strongly and very optimistic of you know, what we've actually seen today. We had eight teams come to participate, right? And what we had here basically was, it shows that it doesn't matter whether you're experienced with actually racing, you could also experience what we call an unexpected, um, an unexpected situation where your vehicle could give you um, a problem. This is practically what happened to the leading teams. Team X, Team Walk and Play, Team Toset, who happened to be leading the race as well. But we are glad that they all participated and we look forward to having them in at the next race. Fully prepared, you know, and with a better understanding of the dynamics of the race. That Motorsports is here to stay. We are happy, you know, at the challenge, at the new developments and the resilience of the racers. So we believe it's here to stay and we are going to go the whole nine yards with it. The weekend culminated in the crowning of champions and the highly anticipated Team Harmony emerged victorious, showcasing exceptional talent and control. Yeah, first I would say I didn't expect us to win because uh, this, this is the first time. But one thing I said to myself when I wanted to start this race is the fact that I'm new on this race doesn't mean I'm not going to win. I mean, I, I started at a very high momentum and I got to some point that I fell. But I still managed to complete like 15 laps out of, out of it and eventually I allowed my, 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 my second driver in. So I'm so excited about the win. Well, the future of mountain racing is... Uh, it's growing rapidly in Nigeria and I, I think it just needs more awareness and bringing more people. Because for us, this is, this is the first time, so I wish they can create more teams and more, 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 more awareness uh, about the race. Uh, it was excellent, at least. It's, it's, I don't know. The adrenaline, the, the thing, I think this is the first time I'm doing this. And uh, we just said we want to do it. We come for the winning and we got it. Determination, like determination. We are bikers already, we have experience, we've been doing this long distance um, riding, we've been, you know, uh, for, for, for all the efforts, let me just say, um, for, it's teamwork. I've been a fan of uh, Formula One for a very long time and uh, we've been praying and we've been wishing for this sport to come to Nigeria and I think uh, this is the start, we're getting it and I'm very sure we're going to get there. I was going in to win, I was optimistic, I was confident about the whole thing. You understand? I didn't. I didn't come to the race to play. Basically, I I came to come out with an excellent score and with an excellent result. You understand? So um, while going through the tracks, I although I experienced, like I said, I experienced some challenges, but I was determined. And the more I went round, the more I went round, I got um, wiser. I got used to it. And. I came up with more tricks, you understand, to beat those challenges. So basically that was that, that, was, that was it. But it was, in total it was an awesome race. I believe I have the talent and like I said, it's something that comes natural to me and it's something I look forward to. 
Spectators caught up in the excitement shared their dreams for the future of ex-cart racing in Nigeria. I think what's happening here is very innovative and I believe it's the beginning of something that would grow much bigger um, as compared to other uh, countries in the world. When the races started, it started even smaller than this and it snowballed into the Formula 1s you have today, the MotoGP you have today. And I think this is, um, I think I'm privileged to witness the beginning of motorsports in Nigeria uh, with, is, with the potential it has um, for every community that hosts it and for the country as well. The future is very bright for this race. As you can tell, a lot of people here are excited. The race is very exciting. We have up to nine teams already, and this is only the third race. You can imagine by the time we get to the fourth and fifth race, how, how many teams will be vying. And you can see that it's even more competitive than it started. The first race, there was a dominant team. Now there are about four or five teams that are trying to come up on top. So it's picking up pace very quickly. Well, the challenges you see here are opportunities. For example, the challenges of the reliability of the buggies will give opportunities to mechanics, will give opportunities to people to know how to tweak the buggies, will develop skills that can trickle down into the economy in some other forms. The challenges of um, the, the racetrack that is, being, that is dusty now, eventually you would see people who come up with innovations to make it more um, to make it more comfortable and everything. Compared to the last um, edition, you know, a lot of people have joined now and I think that that's a good thing. We've got three new entrants, so there are now eight teams in the competition and that means that there's a lot more interest and we hope that that continues to grow. We expect that in the next edition, you know, we'll have way many more participants and, you know, the whole development and understanding of the series would have improved as well. I think that will benefit Muscle Sport as a whole and we expect at the end of the day at least that maybe this year we may still win the championship. So far, I'm surprised by the uptake. Um, at Ondo, there was a huge, you know, uh, presence in Ondo. People are actually turning up for these events and the teams are growing. As long as the drivers are willing to race and people are willing to invest in participating, I think the followership would only grow, especially with all the, you know, sort of, uh, I would say the media engagement that's been going on. I expect this to grow and for us to have more tracks around the country because so far there are two locations where this is happening, but the more locations we have, the more challenging it will be and the more interesting it will be so that different people can have like one race in their environment per year and that will help the turnout because if you have it in the same location every time it's not as interesting so we would like to move this around the country and that's something i would like to see the organizers do as the x card series gains momentum they're nurturing a dream a dream that one day nigeria will produce its own group of lewis hamiltons homegrown racing legends who thrive by defying odds and leave tire marks in the hearts of enthusiasts. Uh, very long time uh, to thank you. You guys are history makers. You are part of the foundation that is setting up the development of all the in Nigeria.